Hi guys, how you doing? So I'm back with another video. This one's probably going to be a little bit faster, quicker because I'm going, I've been on holiday so I haven't had a lot of time to film and I wanted to upload this one quickly. So today I'm going to be doing another haul and this time it's a homeware haul. I went to Casa the other day because I had to, wanted to buy one new item that I had broken and I loved and I ended up buying loads of things so I thought I'd show you. They're all in the same like design and it goes perfectly with what I've already got so I'm going to show you show you a bit of how much it costs and why I bought it and everything and I hope you enjoy let me know if you like these hauls and you want more and I will definitely do them I'll probably do one with like stuff I bought in Holland or something like that or food I'm gonna make my friend try some of Dutch food when we go there it's gonna be fun and if you want any um, videos with other people like my friends or something you would like leave us suggestions suggestions I can't even speak. Leave these suggestions in the comments below and I'll read them and I'll check, do some maybe if I like to. So, first up is the thing I actually went to Casa for, which is this little like bowl, I guess, which is from Orient, which is green with white and has like flowers on it. I'm not sure if it's going to focus because my other focus is completely messed up at the moment. So I bought one, two of these in green and two in grey um, two years ago when I went shopping to like for the decoration of my house and I dropped one of these um, last year and I really love them and I've been looking for them for ages and I've never had them at the Casa so my mum told me that they had it again. I immediately went to go and buy it the next day. It was three years fifty, which I might think is a bit expensive, but of course it's ceramic, so and it's completely worth it. Because the other three I have, if you don't drop them, it can last you at least two or three years, and the color doesn't fade. Like I've washed it so many times, and the color stays on perfectly the same. Except one has a little chip in it because I banged something on there by accident. Not smart. Next thing I bought were these small. Um, like appetizer, a muse, um, a muse spruce mum crosser, like appetizer, like they're like this, and you put something small on it to show your guests. This one, this one is black and white with so flowers, and this one is blue and white with also like flowery design. They're all from the same design, by the way. Everything I bought. These were one euro fifty each. And I have no idea what I'm going to use them for, they were too cute to leave there. I've got a serious problem with home stuff and homeware and things like that. I'll just buy it if it looks cute even though I don't know what I'm going to use it for. Next thing I bought is this big bowl, which is also from Orient, as I said, more from the same design. From the outside it is like this, white with flowers, and the inside it is like this, the same design as the previous spoon I just showed you. This one was €7.99, which is surprisingly the most expensive thing of all the things I bought. Because most of the things are in discount as well, which is a win-win situation. Good stuff for a good price. Love it. But it looked very nice and it only had two bowls and they were both just plain green and just boring. So I had to buy it. Next thing I bought from that design is this long plate. And then again, Orient, which is like this on the inside, and the back looks like uh, this, which was like four euros, I think. I'm not entirely sure. It has little flowers, and it's white with blue and an orange rim, which is nice to put like little tapas on it, or some cook cookies or cupcakes or anything, which I thought just looked very cute, like to put up when you've got guests coming over or something for food. And I thought, yeah, why not? Next thing is a like rubber, um, yeah, rubber thing, what they call it, a baking brush, a rubber baking brush, which is a nice bluey green pastel colour, which, because I need it one, because I have a really big one and a small one, but I don't have any in between, there's like this size. This one was three euros and it goes with all the colours and it's pastel, which is my fa like my favourite type of colour, so I had to get it, obviously. Next I got some more baking supplies, which are these adorable cupcake holders. They're flowers. I don't know if you can see. I'm gonna take one out and show you. If I can open the box without breaking it. 
like adorable little flowers like this and then it looked like that on the bottom so I thought they were really cute and they were only a euro fifty for fifty of them so I decided to buy them as it's summer and um, I've got time to bake things now and I like baking cupcakes and to bake a cupcake the holder is just as important as the cupcake itself for decoration trust me it is at least for a cupcake addict like me it is then I bought this little jar which I've already filled with a um, with tea. I love tea as well. This is a cherry raisin tea, which I got when I was on holiday in Tarifa last year, and it had and I absolutely love it. The only thing that's missing is to put like a little um, sticker on it saying tea, which I will, like with chalk stickers. It was this one was one euro, so it's nice and cheap as well. Then I bought this. Um, yeah, what you call it, like the stove um, thing, like to get pans of the stove, which is pastel bluey, bluish, with um, little watermelons on it, which I thought was really cute for summer. And it was originally four euros, but you got 50% discount, so it was only two euros, which is good. And I needed one of these as well, so I just buy them because I liked it. Some of the things I actually needed, like only two out of the 10 things I bought, but that doesn't matter. And last but not least, I bought this big jar, which says, it is a glass jar, with like a porcelain lid, which says, enjoy your life homemade. Which I thought was really cute to put sweets or cookies or spaghetti or something like that in, or pasta. I just really liked it to put like on the counter in my kitchen. So yeah. Those are the things that I bought at Casa. Just quickly went in to buy one thing and came out and ended up buying like 10 things. I also bought another thing with my sister together. Two things actually. One is a little spatula for cake decorating. The other one is a one of those like, what you call it? I don't know, like the pi piping bag, that's it. Piping bags, 20 throwaway piping bags with little different nozzles to like do butter creaming or make meringues or something like that but they're at my other house so I couldn't show you these but yeah I hope you enjoyed if you're just as obsessed with homeware as I am let me know and I'll show you the best places to buy home homeware because there's two other shops here in Spain that sell the best homeware one of them is called El Corte Inglés which is like a Spanish um, shop which is very very good they sell amazing clothes and shoes as well but especially the homeware is awesome and not expensive Especially if you go in the sales, go in this during the sales, it's the best, trust me. And then you've got Zara Home, everybody knows Zara, but you know they have a home section, like a different shop just for homeware, they've got the best stuff. And you have, but you have to go there and sell because it can be a bit pricey. And the sales, you can buy very nice things for like a euro or two euros, like glasses. I bought loads of stuff there two years ago when I was shopping for my house. So I hope you enjoyed, and if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe because it's free and I'll see you next time with another video.